We're all for pets here on Live in the D and Local 4, of course, and we're going to talk about how well your pet is trained. Good question, right? <laughs> January. It's always a good question. <laughs> January is Train Your Dog Month, but it's is it possible to train all kinds of pets? That's the question. For instance, do you think a cat can be trained? Look at this. No. All right, so the video cute. has gone viral with over 140,000 views and climbing. Brought to our attention by <laughs> Anna Chrisman from the Michigan Humane Society. How did you happen across this? So I actually got sent the video um, by a friend of mine who wanted to know. She was like, oh, is this what you guys do at work all day? Do you oh, train cats to ring funny. bells? And I said, no. Um, but there's actually, if you're interested, there's multiple versions. They're wearing Halloween costumes. There's a Christmas really? version. It's hysterical. Absolutely oh, wow. hysterical. <laughs> Well, you're, you're here to explain to us more about training your pets, right? You've also bought another adorable pet who needs a loving forever home. Who's what do this? we have here? I have. So this little lady is Cheeky, and if you heard mm -hmm. her barking earlier, she clearly lives up to the name. Um, so Cheeky here actually came into us um, in need of having an eye removed. So she oh. actually um, is completely blind at this point in time at a year of age, but she gets around just fine. Really? Do not let her fool you. So she's a great one to talk about training with because blind dogs can actually be trained the same way train a sighted dog. Wow. Um, same way you train a deaf dog. Same way you train a dog that's got a missing limb or something like oh, that. Wow. Um, so that whole adage about not being able to teach old dogs new tricks, totally yeah. not no true. Way. I finally taught my eight-year-old Chow Chow how to sit. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, Good for you. Congratulations. I, I was wow. very proud. <laughs> um, so the thing with training to keep in mind is it is one of those things where it's actually a bonding experience. Don't think of it kind of as a chore. It is a chance for you if you've recently adopted a pet, if you're looking to, um, you know, if you're moving in with somebody and adding a new pet to mm -hmm. your home or something like that. It's a great way to start that bonding experience with them mm -hmm. um, and kind of teaching them, you know, what's expected of them in the home. It's really helpful for the pet as well. Wow. So what is your opinion of onesies? <laughs> I love onesies. I told Tammy, I was a little disappointed. I have a Star Wars onesie and I totally oh, want to wear it. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just, um, you know, well, so if you were to adopt a pet that had special needs, what are some of the things you have to take into consideration? I, I didn't even know. Right, so, the th so with Cheeky, for example. Yeah. Um, Cheeky, because she's blind, obviously does not rely on sight to judge when differences are in the house. Mm -hmm. So say you need to rearrange your living room furniture. That's got to be done slowly and in right. stages for her. Because she knows um, where everything exactly, is. Exactly, so she can learn where everything is. Um, she is a dog that's going to really thrive on routine and consistency. So you kind of can't be, um, you don't get to be like me and be a slightly lazy owner and the food dishes go out got at different you. places got and you. all that kind of stuff. Right. So. Anna, thank you <laughs> thank for coming you so in. Much. Good to see you. Yes.